work on a time at the Lewis Armstrong Middle School. We have recorded some of our experiments for students to review. Using a triple beam balance and a balloon, Resvan's going to try to prove that air has mass. He's going to take the balloon and put it onto the triple beam balance and he's going to use the front rider and balance out this triple beam balance. And we'll know it's balanced when the line on the front matches with the zero. Okay, and Resvan is now going to put air into that balloon. Some nice breaths, have nice breaths, some nice breaths. A lot more, a lot more, a little bit more. Keep going. One more breath. Okay, let's tie a knot in that thing. Now a lot of people want to keep saying things like wait, but we keep away from that because if I take someone and put them in space, they have the same size, they have the same shape, but their weight changes. If I put them on the moon, which has one-sixth the size of the Earth, their weight changes by one-sixth. Weight is a gravity thing. So we kind of stay away from the word weight, and we kind of stay with the word mass. So now we've got this balloon sitting on the pan, and Resvan's going to try to see whether or not he can balance that out again. And before it was 3.1 .1 grams. Now it's 3.3. It's what now, Rezvan? About 3.3 .3 grams. So what do you think ac accounts for the 0.2 grams? The air took up the space in the balloon and made it get bigger and gave it more weight or mass. So not only did it give it more mass, it took up space in the balloon and it pushed the balloon outward which proves that air takes up space mm -hmm. and, and it has mass it has mass and it does what it Take, takes up space has mass uh, and also it's it also it exerts pressure as well it was able to push the balloon sides out so it has P word? Pressure? Yes. It has pressure. It exerted pressure on the sides of the balloon and was able to push the balloon outward. And that allowed it to make it weight, which is 0.2 grams? Yes. Excellent.